Alright, so in this uh, video we're going to be working with parallel circuits and we're going to be solving for resistances in parallel. So one thing you should know about dealing with uh, circuits that are in parallel is that they have the same voltage. So any components that are in parallel have the same voltage and resistors that are in parallel they're not additive so you can't add them as if they're in series it's completely different. So and this this right here is a formula that you could use if you only have two resistors in parallel. If you have that, then you can use this formula. So we're going to go on and work on this problem down here. So I've already entered in the formula. Now you could solve it this way, or you could use the other formula. So I'm going to solve it both ways. So in the first one, so we have, uh, come here, scroll down a little bit more. OK, so 1 over RT. So 1 over RT is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 and you want to have a common denominator so I'm gonna multiply this 1 over 2 by 3 over 3 plus 1 over 3 times 2 over 2 and that's just so I can add them together and then you're gonna get uh, 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6 which is equal to 5 over 6 and that's equal to 1 over RT and if you manipulate this you uh, just you're gonna cross multiply the 6 uh, well you're gonna cross multiply and divide and then when you do that you're gonna get well you know just let me go ahead so 1 over RT is equal to 5 over 6 cross multiply and then divide you're going to get 6 is equal to 5 over RT. And you're going to divide that out. And you're going to get RT is equal to 6 over 5 or 1.2 ohms. Now, if you wanted to use the formula, now, now that's using that formula. And you can use that for however many resistors they have that are in parallel. So if you wanted to use the other formula, which you can only use it for uh, two resistors in parallel, you use this one. So it would be. Uh, R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2 and that's going to give you hopefully the same answer and it should so 2 times 3 divided by 2 plus 3 which is equal to 6 or whoops, yeah 6 over 5 so and there you go same answer so that works out and you can tell this one works maybe a little bit quicker so let's go on to the second uh, the second problem and in this one I wrote it out so it has three resistors and I'm going to solve it both ways again so here is the first part it's 1 over RT equal to 1 over R1 is 2 ohms plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 now again we need a common denominator in these so we're just going to multiply them in order to get the, the, the correct uh, denominator so you can add them together and for that you're going to get uh, so 12. 12 is a common denominator here. So 1 half, that's 6 over 12 plus uh, 4 over 12 plus 3 over 12. And if you add those together you're going to get 10, 13, 13 over 12 ohms is what is equal to 1 over RT. And if you manipulate that around, you're going to get RT is equal to 12 over 13. And that would be your answer using that. But you could also do this problem differently by combining R2 and R3 in order to make the circuit look a little bit different. So this is what it would look like. If you combine it, you're going to have one resistor here, which is R1. And you're going to have a new resistor, R2, 3 which is the combination of these two and this is how you would do it so let's start off and just combine R2 and 3 so you would have R2 3 equal to uh, R2 times R3 divided by R2 plus R3 and that's going to give you 2 no that's not 2 that's 3 times 4 over 3 plus 4 which gives you 12 over 7 ohms and that's what uh, 2 3 is equal to 2 3 is equal to 12 over 7 ohms so now we have this circuit now we're going to combine R1 
and our two three together in order to make it just one resistor. So we're going to do it again. So now this is going to be R2 because that's going to be the total resistance of the circuit. So this is R1 times R23 over R1 plus R23. And this should hopefully give us uh, this value right here. 12 over 13. So let's see if we get that value. So R1 is equal to 2 ohms. R23 is equal to 12 over 7. And 2 plus 12 over 7 again. No, I need more space. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it over here. So, actually, uh, that one goes over that way. Okay, so now we're going to get R2 is equal to 24 over 7 divided by 14 over 7 plus 12 over 7. And this, this 14 over 7, that's just... Uh, 2 times 7 over 7. That's how I, I got the 14 over 7. So in this one, uh, if I add these two together, you're going to get 24 over 7. Over 14 plus 12 is 26 over 7. So that's the same thing as doing 24 over 7 times 7 over 26. Those two cancel out, and you're left with 24 over 26, and that is actually going to reduce down to 12 over 13. So this RT here, we were able to solve to get 12 over 13 ohms. So same answer as before, and that works as well. So you could do whichever way you feel more comfortable with. Uh, you know, either way is fine. Neither neither one is better than the other. I mean, one might be a little bit quicker than the other, but whatever you feel comfortable with. So uh, I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please like it. And um, yeah, I'll be making more videos, so check them out.